Hello and welcome to Prague, to a special place, because this is a special video. Do you remember the video when we were collecting money for a new bell to Prague? A bell into that church, it actually rang like 10 minutes ago and it was a good feeling. Well now we're trying to achieve another milestone, because we want to remember all the bells that are missing in the Czech Republic. Because this bell we actually replaced because it was taken away during the Second World War. And it was not the only one. Actually more than 9,000, to be exact, 9,801 of bells were taken during the Second World War away from the Czech lands. We actually put that into a graph. You can see the first dip is the First World War and the bells were eventually replaced. But after the second dip during the Second World War, they were not replaced. And you can see a tiny little uh, graph moving up. And that's uh, when we got some of the new bells and our friends and our colleagues into Prague. But we want that line to go higher, faster. That's why we're making this video. It may be hard to imagine what 9,801 bells look like, but once you take a look at the pictures, you will get the picture. All of these bells, but not only the bells, but their sounds were silenced. And there's no memory of that except for these couple pictures. They were all taken to an island in Prague and from there they were taken to Hamburg in Germany to be melted into weaponry. And we are here in this church because our friends are actually bell ringers and they came up with an idea to create a memorial for all these bells here in Prague on the spot where they all were silenced. So we want to collect money to get a new bell, new memorial that will remember all the 9,801 voices. And you may think at this point, and I thought the same thing, well, why don't you collect money to replace all the bells that are missing? Well, just to give you a perspective, it would be more than 2 billion crowns to replace all the bells. On the other hand, we can just get around 10 million crowns to get a one memorial bell. But that's not all. The idea is that this one bell that we will get as a memorial will actually collect money to replace all the bells missing because it will outlive us by hundreds and hundreds of years. If we start a crowdfunding campaign for all the bells missing, we would never live till the end of it. This bell will, and throughout its lifetime, it will collect money in some sort of way that we still have to come up the idea with, but it will do so. And eventually, we will replace all the bells missing in the Czech Republic. So if you've missed our crowdfunding campaign for that bell, you can easily join this one. How to do so, there will be a link below in the description that will tell you how you can send a dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars, a euro, or any amount you will be happy with. And just to give you an idea how large the 9801 bell will be, we went to our friend Andrzej, the bell ringer that you know very well. Ciao Andrzej. Ciao, hi. <laughs> how large is this bell? How big is it? This bell is six and a half tons. Okay. And the new one, the biggest one will be 9.8 tons. So more than three tons heavier. Yeah. Will it also be bigger in size? The new one can be put on top on this bell, like Matryoshka. You know. <laughs> so please help us bring these voices back to our country and back to Prague. We are missing them and they are something beautiful. If you'll do so, the links will be below the video in the description. We will be more than grateful and we will be more than happy to welcome you in our beautiful city of Prague. These were the honest guides and the amazing bell ringers, our friends. See you next week on another Sunday. And in the end, we always teach you a Czech word. So this time it's gonna be the word chybí, which is missing. 
a bell is missing would be zvon chybí. But if I miss you as a person, chybíš mi, I miss you. So chybíš, missing.